Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. I'm Mariah. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel where I'm discussing health, detox, and how to heal thyself. Um, today I wanted to talk about the truther community and the very brilliant people that I've been in uh, contact with lately. It's just been amazing because through all the worldly happenings of today, not only have uh, many people been connecting um, to figure out solutions to these issues, but so many more people are coming on board um, with recognizing that the rest of us who are speaking about the direction that this world was taking, say, you know, 10, 15 years ago, we weren't so crazy after all. We were just a little uh, premature in our predictions. I mean, long ago, before I woke up to um, health and healing the body and becoming less dependent on anybody but yourself, I had recognized um, many occurrences in the world that I felt compelled to speak about. And with doing so, um, and at that time I wasn't um, very healthy in my body and mind, um, there are many things that contributed to that, which I will discuss maybe now or maybe in a later video. But at that time, because I was not healthy, this is what I believe why I so many people rejected um, the information I was bringing forth and uh, basically, you know, disowned me in a sense. I lost a lot of family and friends. Um, people would write me off as crazy. Um, I was, you know, really... Uh, People do not understand why you care so much about what's going on in, say, government or in uh, even, even you know, with the geoengineering of our skies and things. I think, well, why do you care? I mean, it's going on anyways. There's nothing you can do. You know, there's more important things. But really, there isn't more important things than trying to keep our planet in good health and keeping ourselves in good health and speaking up when something is so glaringly wrong and is affecting um, our health. So I just think it's amazing that so many people are now connecting and getting on the same page and coming up with solutions and I'm not going to discuss really what those solutions are here. Um, but I just wanted to say that um, change is upon us. Um, now, nature works slowly, change works slowly, nothing happens overnight. It's not going to be like where suddenly, you know, we're going to wake up one morning and there's going to be <clears throat> food shortages and, and the power is going to be turned off and our internet's going to be gone and, you know, all these uh all this fear mongering that comes out of uh many uh avenues um it doesn't just happen immediately just like health just like when you're building health it doesn't just happen immediately just like when you're building disease it doesn't just happen immediately it's such a gradual accumulation of and summation of all your habits and choices and 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 everything um so i mean your your health today or your or your poor health today is a is a, a summation of all your past and present habits and uh choices right and that's what we're seeing in the world as well i mean for everything we do comply with, for everything we don't comply with, for um, every action, every inaction, um, what we see in the world is a summation of um, the collective. And we can make change on an individual basis, but we have to start with ourselves. And if we start with ourselves and we go within and we heal from the inside out, you will notice that that will have a ripple effect and it will radiate outwards and it does make a difference. It makes a difference whether you can see that now or not. And 
So what I'm seeing a lot though in the truther community is a lot of people, they know what's going on and it freaks them out. And it is scary, but at the same time, it's not so scary if you yourself are in good health and in balance because then you can see things from when, when you're in good health um, and all your organs and glands are functioning well and, and you're not dealing with any imbalance, you don't, you handle stress differently. Um, and I know because I've been to both sides, okay? When I was severely unhealthy um, many, many years ago, you know, 10, 15 years ago, and I was finding out about a lot of these truths that a lot of people are just, you know, figuring out now, my reactions and the way I handled things um, were not as uh, in a in the type of manner that I do today because I was not in good health and therefore I was reacting more um, and I was allowing the stress to penetrate my being. Um, today it's like no matter what I hear and nothing surprises me anymore no matter what I learn, um, it can only hurt to a certain point. And that's because I've been able to bring myself into a state of health where I, I guess it's difficult to explain, but what I am trying to say here is that I see many amazing people that have learned a lot of truths, but they're not handling it well and um, I suppose they don't realize just how important it is to bring your body into health for many reasons because, I mean, if we're going to be going into more self-sufficient type situations for those of us that um, know that that's the way uh, the world is, the direction it's headed, and if you don't get on board and start, you know, learning how to take care of yourself, um, learning a little more self-sufficiency and, and having certain uh, plans in place, um, we're gonna, you know, maybe run into quite a bit of trouble. But bringing the body into health should be the number one, the number one uh, priority for anybody in the know, because it doesn't matter how much you know, or how sufficient, how self-sufficient you get, or or anything. If somebody takes you, for example, to the hospital because you've had a heart attack because you're, you know, all you're eating is uh, meat because you're off grid and and so you're eating lots of meat and lots of dairy, and uh, you're not aware of the detrimental effects that these foods have on the human body, and you get dragged to the hospital. Um, all that knowledge goes down the drain in a sense. Everything. I mean, what's the point if you can't keep yourself in good health and keep yourself um, distanced from the very corporations, institutions that will basically bring you down? I mean, if you get dragged off to a hospital, for example, you may not come back out alive. And as you know, I'm reading this book um, online right now, The True Healing Art by R.T. Trell, and, and he discusses, you know, the detrimental effects of drug medications and how um, people in certain areas that, or, or certain doctors that just administered no drug medication at all, for certain uh, illnesses like pneumonia, fever, typhoid fever, all these things, they actually survived. And the ones that were getting the drug medications, you know, they actually died in most cases because drug medications only suppress and produce more disease. They don't heal anything. Anyways, so what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter how enlightened you are or how much truth you know or how self-sufficient you get, if you're not in good health, you're going to end up dependent on the very system you're trying to um, become independent of, right? So everyone's first and first priority should be to learn what the human body actually requires in order to thrive 
and to begin adopting a diet that reflects that and will keep your body in good health and keep you um, in a state of health where you won't end up dependent on any outside uh, you know, medical system or, or government compensation or anything of the sort because if you suddenly can't walk or if you're suddenly in poor health, how are you gonna take care of yourself off grid? How are you going to, I mean, how are you going to get your your wood? How are you going to uh, take care of yourself? How are you going to make your food preservations for the winter and, and all this? And so a lot of people in the truth or community, I mean, they lack the knowledge on the proper uh, human dietary needs. And yes, we all have a specific fuel source that the human body thrives on. We were designed for specific foods. And when we do eat those specific foods, um, we, we find ourselves um, in a good state of health. Um, now, a lot of people would argue, well, I tried that. I tried, eat. there's not enough protein. I didn't have any energy. Uh, I ate fruits and vegetables for a while. Uh, I'm hungry all the time. And there is so much you have to go through in order to uh, revert your body back to its proper fuel source. So much you have to go through. You have to go through, you know, periods of tiredness, detoxification symptoms. You have to go through um, the elimination and release of all your past um, toxin accumulations and whatnot. And it takes a good few years to start feeling good. And I'm sorry, if you don't want to go through that, even going through a skinny phase, then nobody can help you. Then continue eating your meat and your dairy and your cheese and all that food that's going to continue to create massive amounts of mucus and obstructions in your body and, and and bacteria and fungus issues and parasite issues and continue doing that. But later on in life, you know, when it finally catches up with you, because it does with every single person, you're not gonna be so self-sufficient anymore. You're gonna become dependent on something or someone and it's not gonna be pretty, but it's preventable. It's fully preventable if you could just learn the truth Put aside your programming, put aside your what you think are your tastes and your desires and your wants at this time. Mmm, meat, so good, I want to go out and kill an animal and I'm so sufficient and I'm a man. But the thing is, that's not going to be very manly when you suddenly end up with a heart attack one day, you know? Like, really, you need to learn the truth and you're not going to find the truth in today's world. Today's world advertises, you know... That's the thing with a lot of truthers, I don't understand. They believe the mainstream dietary, you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, it's just the factory farmed meat and milk that's bad for us, but if I do it myself, it's good. But they believe the recommendations that meat and dairy and high protein foods is healthy for us, all these animal products, they are not healthy. They build disease and they are lying to us. And it's been this way for a very long time. And people say, oh, well, they're going to, you know, start doing shortages and taking our meat away from us and stuff. They, in, in communist takeover times, you know, they love taking away what people love. It's not, it's not that they want to take away meat because um, it's very healthy for you. That's not why they're going to take it away or that's not why there's going to be shortages or that's not why they're attacking the food supply in that sense. They just like to create chaos. They just like to take away things that they know people love and because that um, brings down the morale and, and you know, and, it, and, you know, hit people where it hurts. But what I'm trying to get at is that I love the fact that people are coming together and that they're learning from each other and you know we're focusing on so many topics but really important ones such as law and uh, and what you know truly is our place on this planet and why we're here and you know we're here to be stewards of the earth and to take care of it and if we see um, that specific groups of people or governments are not doing that 
we need to take action in some form of another. I'm not saying um, to go and protest because that doesn't really get anyone anywhere, but I'm saying to, you know, um, be the change that you wish to see, right? But how are we gonna do that if we're still out there thinking that animal products are healthy for the human body? And uh, we're still out there not being stewards of the land if you're actually out there killing the animals and, uh, you know, and, and just so much input comes from all that too. I mean, oh, I could go on and on and on, but all I want to say is that I am imploring all truthers to maybe dig a little deeper. I mean, there are books that I've uncovered. One of them is this, The True Healing Art by R.T. Troll one of the early proponents of the natural hygiene movement. You can study a bit of the natural hygiene um, information. Uh, there's uh, T.C. Fry, um, the life science course. There's Arnold Errett, rational fasting, uh, the mucusless diet healing system. Um, then there's Professor Spira who likes to uh, take it a bit further. And uh, so he's, you know, really just done a lot of discussion and um, revision of Arnold Errett's work. Um, there's a lot of good people that have uncovered the truth, that have healed their health issues, like really healed them, not just suppressed them and they kind of went away and they feel a little bit better. I'm talking about true healing where you dig deep, you go through the, the pain that is required, the detoxification, the, the hardship that is required, you pay your dues in order to come out on the other side healthier. Those are the people that know, those are the people that are being suppressed. Um, that's the information you don't hear about, but everybody in the truther community, all these brilliant people, all these brilliant minds, you know, but then you see how unhealthy so many people are and how, you know, how all their efforts could be in vain because eventually the system's going to bring them down because they're going to need something from that system when their health fails. So please learn the truth about the human body and what it truly requires to be healthy. And when you start living in accordance with um, our body's natural requirements, you're automatically becoming more of a steward for the land and for the earth because you don't need to farm animals. You can have them around as pets or, or, you know, for fertilizer, sure. I mean, go have at it, have a garden, have some, you know, chickens and rabbits around to uh, fertilize the land and to pick out the, the bugs and to keep things in balance. That's, that's not a problem, right? But you don't need to go killing them and eating them for sustenance when it can be so much more simple. And once we start fueling our bodies with what we're naturally required to eat, you'll see how much more simplistic life becomes. I mean, I used to be in there scrubbing dishes like crazy when I had my farm and I was eating meats and preparing like all our natural cheeses and yogurts and milks and, and meats and eggs and all this. And But life was a lot harder. I mean, everything was more messy. Everything was more difficult to clean. My health wasn't in a good state, yet I couldn't understand why. Like... Um, it was a lot more work, you know, to do these raw milks, to milk the cow, to make the butter, to make the cheese, to age the meat, to package it, to process it, to kill, to, you know, so much input and energy goes into that. And for what? For what? For building health issues. Yeah, your meat may be a little cleaner than the stuff you're picking up at your local grocery store where somebody else murdered it for you and added some dye and chemicals to make it look a little fresher. Yeah, your meat may be a little healthier, but I'm telling you, that meat isn't healthy to begin with because we're not meant to eat dead animals. We're just not meant to. We never were, but we've lost that innate instinct because we're so toxic within and our parasites crave the meat and the eggs and the cheese and and so we just keep eating it and then we're on this perpetual merry-go-round where we think that we're eating healthy because our food suddenly came from the land no i'm sorry you are not healthy if you have any any bit of health issues and i'm talking the occasional headache i'm talking some dandruff i'm talking dry skin uh bloodshot eyes uh 
of irritable feelings or depression or anger or any of this, you're not in a state of balance and you need to give yourself a reality check. And really, what harm would it do to go out and learn a little bit more about maybe what the natural hygiene um, early proponents were saying or what Arnold Eret was saying? Just read it with an open mind and think about it for a little while, you know? Forget all your indoctrination, forget all the, what they tell you that you need these high protein diets. You know, it's the high protein foods that are creating all this toxicity in people. High protein diets are not healthy and they've been pushed on us for a very long time. So, I'm gonna end this video here. I think I've said enough, but I do implore people to just Dig a little deeper. Just because you felt bad eating a vegan diet, probably because you ate a whole bunch of rice and, and complex carbohydrates, let all that go. Try it again. And this time focus on fruits, starchless veggies, salad greens. And of course you need to have a little knowledge on how to transition properly because obviously you're still gonna eat some mucus forming foods um, as part of the transition to help um, mitigate cravings and and parasite eruptions and all this you know stuff that comes about like you but i'm just saying don't just say oh i tried a vegan diet and didn't work vegan diet isn't healthy okay people a vegan diet has been given a bad name anyways i mean most people go on a vegan diet load up on all this vegan junk food they get really sick and then people are like eh, look at those unhealthy vegans and all that okay well yeah there are unhealthy vegans there are really unhealthy vegans out there and uh, they're not giving the movement a good name. Those are the people who are just doing it for fad reasons or because they lack the knowledge or because they don't care about themselves really. They're still in self-destruct mode like most of humanity and they don't care really what they eat as long as it tastes good. And there's tons of vegan food that tastes good, but it's chock full of preservatives and chemicals and crap. So, you know, we are meant and designed to eat the foods that grow in nature. We're not meant and designed to eat the animals, okay? Or to take their milks that they produce for their young or to take their eggs that they produce to hatch young. We are meant, and this is, should be just such, I mean, I can't believe it's considered extreme. This should just be common sense. I mean, we've lost our innate instincts to even decipher what is truth and what is a lie because we're so full of toxins we're so full of toxicity people have such i mean these people who are out there eating like mainly you know tons of meat and dairy and and whatnot they've got they're so chock full of toxicity that they don't even know it and hearing this video from me is going to sound absurd to them right but unfortunately it's the truth and i see so many good people that get caught up in some major untruths along the way, along the way of discovering so many other truths, that those, that that's their downfall. And I'm not saying that I know um, everything or even close to anything, except there are a couple truths I know um, in this world. And that's because I've proved them to myself and really the only real truths I feel that I've uncovered on this earth, I mean, you can ask anybody, ask me what I believe. I, I don't believe in anything. I don't have any beliefs. I only like to uh, speak about what I actually know beyond a doubt. And how do I know? It's because I've experienced it for myself and because I work with others. And so I've seen it time and time again, but I was on both sides, you know, I was on the self-sufficiency. We need to have, you know, the best meat, the best dairy cheeses and all that. I, I, I did all that for many years um, in the farming and, and, uh, and I was still building disease and my health issues were still getting worse. And when I did figure out how to uh, heal myself, that involved scaling back to simplicity, letting it all go, letting the entire farm go and just focusing on 
um, simple foods and letting the body do what it needs to do in order to correct itself. And that takes a lot of time and patience, which a lot of people are not willing to do. And a lot of knowledge, because if you don't have the knowledge of what your body is going to go through in order to reach a state of wellness, well, then it's going to freak you out. You're going to focus on every little symptom that arises and you're going to question it and wonder why and research it and, and start taking things for it and start getting into the vitamins the mineral the minerals and the supplements and all these other things that are still going to suppress and cause health issues and you're never going to reach truth because the truth is just very simple you need very little and you need to let the body do what it needs to do you need to let go of everything all the confusion all the noise all the complication and that is why it's so difficult for people to grasp. I mean, think about how much easier it would be to live from the land if you didn't have to do all the slaughter and, and all that. If you could just grow some salad greens and some vegetables that last all winter, I mean, you can easily become self-sufficient with potatoes and squash and, and carrots and beets and and then, you know, and then whatever, you got boxes of apples that last pretty much all winter. Like you've got fruits, you've got vegetables, you can can stuff, you can freeze stuff, you can dehydrate fruits. Like I have such an abundance of food if I need it so much and I don't even eat it all winter because, you know, uh, because once you become, um, bring your body into a state of health, you need less. You need so much less. I mean, every day, what do I do? Well, I'll have maybe a freshly squeezed orange juice if I want, which is not necessary. Of course, yeah, I'm buying the oranges, but I don't need to, right? It's just a thing. But I'll have that at around noon. And then for lunch, I'll have my local organic applesauce. So what's in this applesauce? I, I blend up um, you know, a few apples, maybe three or four apples, and I throw in uh, raisins, and I easily make raisins with the abundance of grapes. I dehydrate raisins, and I froze some blueberries. I, I freeze bags and bags and bags of blueberries, and so every day I just scoop out a little bowl, put it on the counter, let it thaw out. Then I have this mound of like applesauce with blueberries and raisins, and it's so delicious, and that's like my first meal every day that I'm not fasting. And then my second meal, well, it's quite easy. I mean, sure, I can go out and buy some salad right now, but if I don't have to, that's not a big deal because I have so many sprouting seeds that I've collected, jars and jars and jars and jars. I can sprout for years. In fact, I can't even use them all up before they go bad. But I have, you know, I can, I can eat a bed of sprouts with my uh, tomato sauce that I made or um, a squash, you chop that up and, and you bake a nice squash or, you know, like there's so much abundance, um, dried fruits for snacking, like, and people act like they have nothing. How can you get self-sufficient if you're not eating meat, de eggs and dairy and death? It's like, actually, it's a lot more easy to get self-sufficient because these foods require a lot less processing, a lot less, um, you know, like with meat, you need to have crazy freezers and, and lots of space and lots of, yeah, oh man, I, I've been there, done it with all of it, right? And, you know, I'd rather have a freezer full of uh, vegetable meals that I can just take out and uh, thaw one of those out and eat it than a freezer full of meat that's just going to create more toxicity within the body. Okay, I've let this go on way too long. This is 28 minutes. Wow, I sure can ramble. It's just, I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, it, it pains me to see so many people go down this road of, um, of misinformation when they've got so many other things, you know, bang on about what's going on in the world and how we can uh, find remedy, you know? And, uh, like I said, there's only two truths that I really know on this planet so far that I've uncovered. And one is that the sun does rise and set every day despite their spring and despite whatever they're doing to our skies. <laughs> so that's one truth I've uncovered. Yeah, that sounds pretty basic. and But I mean, that's the only thing I can say for sure. And that I do know what the human body requires as a proper fuel source. I'm sorry, you may disagree with me, and I obviously disagree with you, but only one of us is going to be correct in the end. And uh, I sure hope, you know, um, people don't end up with these massive health issues because they were wrong in what they thought was healthy for the human body, but it happens every day to people. It even happened to me. 
And uh, I don't wish that upon anybody because being in a poor state of health is awful. It ruins every aspect of your life. It takes over every aspect of your life. And it's just, uh, it, it just, it just diminishes your life to the point where you almost lose sight of why you're even here. And you know why we are here? We're here to make this place a better place. We're here to make ourselves better. We have to bring ourselves into health first before we can radiate health all around us. And once we've brought ourselves into a state of health, everything around you begins to heal on specific levels. And I know that sounds a little crazy and mumbo jumbo. Just try transitioning over to the foods that your body is actually designed for. Just like a cow, a cow is designed to eat grass. When you start giving it grains, it starts having massive acidity issues and all sorts of issues arise in that cow's health and well-being. And um, everything around it is shittier, literally. It shit stinks more, it it's, requires more medications and issues. And you know, like, I don't even wanna get off all these topics. This is like half an hour. So please, happy healing everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I've been updating my blog every Sunday on my website, applediaries.com. Um, I'm also reading this book, The True Healing Art, um, in small increments and videos, so you can uh, listen to the whole thing soon. Um, and uh, on my social medias, I'm on Tasu, Troth, Truth, I don't know, T-R-O-O-T-H. Um, man, I'm on so many socials now, MeWe. Uh, still on Facebook, but they keep shadow banning a lot of posts and things. Um, still on Instagram, but not a lot of engagement there. Anyways, man, I can ramble. Thank you for listening. Um, take care, everyone. Take care of your health, because without your health, everything else around you will crumble. I'm sorry, but you got to get your health back. you got to bring your body into health. It's the most important thing in order to be the best that you can be towards other people, in order to see through lies, in order for everything. You need to get your health. You need to obtain health. You have to be in good health. If you're not in good health, you're going to get wrapped up. You're going to get trapped in something. In one, you know, anyways, happy healing, everyone.